Hey y'all, guess what? Will Hip Hop is back. We got Big Red in the building. How you doing? I'm feeling good. So tell us about when did you start rapping? Started rapping, ooh, it's about 13 years ago. Ooh. Yeah, 13 years ago. And um, I, I, I'm an elder statesman. Or, or, or something like that, basically. But yeah, about 13 years ago, I started uh, actually pursuing my professional career as far as rapping. I've been involved in hip hop for years. I mean, since a childhood, I've always grown up listening to, to authentic hip hop music. You know, uh, Rakim, KRS One, those are some of my major influences. And um, yeah, so I've been doing it to this day and just relocated out here about within the past two years. Okay, where are you um, from? Originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, but I've lived the last 13 some odd years in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yes, okay. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, so in the middle of the map. So, and I'm out here now in Atlanta uh, trying to get it popping. Yeah. Has anybody told you that your voice makes you different? Because you had a very nice, deep voice. Has anybody mentioned that or something? Yeah, I've, I've had some, <laughs> some compliments and whatnot or, or notes about my voice. <laughs> and I think, it, I mean, it does set me apart. From you use it, you use that to your advantage. Absolutely, you have to. I mean, my thing is, you know, I didn't relocate to another region for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, whatever gifts or talents that I do have, mm -hmm. um, I want to use them to my advantage and make a mark, a definitive mark in, right. in, in music and what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. absolutely. I see you brought your CD in. Right. Yeah, go hard. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about your CD. Is it out? Where can they buy it? Sure. Actually, right now, currently it's available online. Um, you can go to my MySpace page. Mm -hmm. um, you can also go to my website, BigRecZilla.com, B-I-G-R-E-C-Z-I-L-L-A.com, and uh, you can just purchase it right there online. Um, that album is the last official product that I've put out there. Okay. Um, finished it toward the end of 07 and I've been working on a slew of new material uh, since being out here but uh, you know there's some some good quality music on there you know so yeah, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't sleep I, I, I'd go <laughs> ahead and purchase it if I were you <laughs> I'd, I'd do that you know? so Go Hard is, is the name of the album and uh, honestly that album was something that I did as dedication to the people of Oklahoma Okay. Um, being out there for as long as I was there I had a lot of support from the streets, a lot of support from the radio, had singles. A few of the songs on that album were spinning in rotation okay. on the radio out in Tulsa. Shout out to K Jams, to Perry Broadcast, and all of y'all. Um, you know, so a lot of the support from the people out there, I wanted to give them something back. You know, um, the, at the time the album wasn't out when the music was on the radio. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and just do some things that have a lot of themes that are central uh, to Oklahoma and whatnot. So, that's what I did. Go hardest for Oklahoma. Nine one eight four five five eight zero. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Where the name Big Big Reg is it Regzilla? Right. Well, where where did all that come from? Well, okay. This is where we'll start. Rec is short for the word reconcile. Okay. Okay. Me as an individual, just as a human being, I've always been about reconciliation, bringing things together, bringing people together, and as it relates to the culture and hip hop. I've always been passionate about bringing back the essence to the forefront because I, I feel personally, as it relates to hip hop music, uh, there's a lot of imbalance right now. You know, there's a lot of, it's a, everything is geared toward the kids, it seems like, you know, from dances to the music to whatever. And that's cool. I think everything has its place. But I think in order to know where you're going, you should look at where you've come from. And as it relates to hip hop, this is a culture. And it started, you know, with a lot of things, a lot of struggle for the voice of urban America and, and young people to get out. And, you know, there's a lot of meaning and a lot of, of, of content that hasn't really been presented in the music. And I think that there's just a lack of balance. And personally, I feel like bringing together what's popular and what's out there with what has started and what, what the foundation was, bringing it together to, to present more of a balance in the music, that's a part of what I'm what I'm about. So the whole term, like you started off saying, real hip hop is back. Mm -hmm. That's that's something that I've coined, and it's it's a movement. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than the music. It really is a movement. And just in my time of being out here, that's been that's been a, a, a big push that that I've been making, and um, a lot of things have been happening as a result. So I'm excited about it. Definitely, definitely. definitely. Can you spit something for us, quickly? Absolutely. 
Welcome to real words you can feel. Welcome to unconfined thoughts that spill. To saturate a nation of clones hating to build own identity, known remedy, records reveal. I'm a GIN, indeed I rant and rave on any given opportunity I get to display. The sovereign God given ability to relay my thoughts and experiences to fakes taking up space. It's a real life movement, the blueprint for shaking and moving a whole generation through music. Views defined through expression of thought, moving progression to spark you to invest in your art. Listen, this is Oklahoma's finest. Take a moment to rewind us. Reconcile. General. No man could ever confine them. Line them up. Catch the vision. Authenticity's a trend. With the whack, I never blend. Recognize I'm not them. Feel me? Real hip-hop is back, you dig? That's just a little something real quick, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, furthermore, as it relates to the whole Big Rack thing, no, notably, I, I, I'm not a small individual, okay? So the whole thing of Reconcile, just people just started saying Rec because they didn't want to say the name all the way out. Mm -hmm. So wreck, big wreck, it just kind of happened. And the big wreckzilla thing happened. It's kind of like every artist, I think, that's coming out, whether they're a new artist or not, has a, kind of a moniker or something to associate with. And for me, my performance is like my strong point. Um, I think the live show aspect of hip-hop is, you know, people don't invest as much time or energy into that. Me, on the other hand, that's what I love to do. I'm an entertainer, you know, so I love to, to, to leave it all out on the floor. And um, it's a pretty monstrous experience, to say the least. So the whole Regzilla, you know, monster thing, I, I've just kind of been running with that, you know, as an introduction of who I am to people. Now, below the surface, I mean, there's a lot more to me than just the monster thing, you know. So, um, and as people get to know me and get acquainted with my artistry, you'll get to hear a lot, a lot more than just the, the stage show and the monstrosity and <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. So, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely. Tell them their MySpace and your Facebook, all that good stuff. Sure. MySpace.com slash Big Rexilla. B I G R E C Z I L L A. As a matter of fact, just put Big Rexilla anywhere and you'll find me. Enough said. I mean, just Big Regzilla from Twitter to Facebook to MySpace, the website, all that. So you check me out. Wow. Y'all keep on watching. This is your girl, Eve Lore.